Hello guys, in this tutorial you will learn how to detail a T-Rex in ZBrush using CGSphere Skin Pack and I will show you a lot of good techniques that you can use to detail your characters so if you want to learn something new, continue watch this tutorial Alright guys, so here we have a T-Rex model that you can see here and we can detail this with a different workflows. I will show you how you can detail your character in the different ways and let me show you the first, first workflow that you can do to detail this T-Rex. So here uh, just select a standard brush select the rectangle and here you can choose your alpha just import any alpha here let's bring a 55 and just go to alpha and modify and turn on your surface detail mode the surface detail mode will change your mid value automatically uh, so you can have a right uh, surface for your character so the details won't get messed up and here you can just mask out your the area that you don't want to detail so just mask I do everything a little bit faster okay so just so you can understand the workflow and just go to focal shift change your focal shift here and change intensity and now we can just drag and you will have a lot of good details okay so if you don't want this uh, lines here you can play with focal shift I bring it back to zero and I just drag as you can see we have a lot of good details here okay guys so let's mask this area too we worked on these alphas with hand and we added a lot of more details to it so we added the inflate we used the damage standard to cut and give these alphas more depth and make it better for you so you can use it and as you can see a lot of amazing details that it's like a vdm brush but this is alpha okay so i have a four million polygons here four million points and i have a lot of good details as you can see so just add some more detail and one thing you can do is to add some wrinkles to this character so let's go to our library and here you can just select one of these wrinkles alphas and just drag it and as you can see you can add a lot of wrinkles just by dragging this So yeah, just drag and you will have a lot of amazing details here, just like that. So we can add the wrinkles here too, so just uh, I think this is uh, too intense let's bring intensity down a little bit and here we can add these wrinkles to your dragon t-rex anything you have I will bring a crocodile 
for the for next character so you can see the details on that character too so easily you can add a lot of amazing details to your character just like that as you can see so that's it for this character as you can see you can just add a lot of good quality details to your character so yeah all right guys so let me show you the next workflow that you can use to detail your character just uh, go to texture tab click this icon bring it here select any alpha uh, i just select this one that is already here and you can just go to a spotlight bring your texture here turn on your rgb channel and bring your intensity down a little bit select the standard brush and just uh, sculpt on this detail so you should divide your model should have a lot of points I have a uh, 4 million here and now when you just sculpt on this you can see the details that is here okay so this is one way that you can add a lot of details to your character uh, the next workflow is that you just uh, bring an alpha let me bring intensity up a little bit alpha like this okay and uh, you can save a morph target on this go to morph target store morph and now you can go to your brushes and select a display brush and you can just bring these details out so I just uh, start the scope and bring these details out some of them uh, when you have a uh, uh, something like a scale and stuff like that you need this work follow and now you can go back to your morph brush mm, here bring the intensity down like uh, three something like that and start bring back these areas but you have this inflate effect here that you can give to your details okay so that's one of the ways that you can bring out uh, your alpha and make it more like 3d uh, not a 2d detail that you can see here so yeah